Hi there, Kristen here from Casey Loves Frags. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time joining me. Please like this video and don't forget to subscribe. So today I'd like to talk to you about one of my first favorites from Tom Ford. This is what introduced me to the brand. I have a feeling it's what introduced maybe a lot of women to the brand, but I don't know. Uh, talking about none other than Mandarino di Amalfi. I don't have the full presentation. I don't have the original box that it came in, but I'll show you the bottle. So it's EDP, it's a 50 mil. I love the color of this bottle. I'm getting married in a couple weeks and gray and turquoise are colors. So this bottle is perfect. Um, I love this cap. They all have that nice, they all have the Tom Ford on the cap, just different colors. You have your information on the bottom, like your size and such. And uh, so that's your presentation for the bottle. So this is uh, classified as a citrus aromatic. It was released in 2014. The nose behind it is uh, Callis Becker. I really hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I apologize if I'm not. Uh, there's a lot of notes in this one, so let me read the, I gotta read all these. <laughs> okay, so at the top, we have tarragon, mint, black currant, grapefruit, lemon, and basil. In the heart, we have black pepper, coriander, orange blossom, clary sage, shiso, and jasmine. I don't know what shiso is, so if and if you know what it is, maybe comment below. You'd love to hear, know what it is. I guess I think it might be an herb, but I don't know. Uh, base, vetiver, amber, labdanum, musk, and civet. So it has a touch of an animalistic thing, but don't let that scare you. So I actually have the dry down in this hand. So let's give a spray. Oh yeah, I love this opening, man. Oh, right away I get a lot of that mint and lemon, the grapefruit, a bit of the basil comes through. Mm, that's beautiful. Really bright, effervescent opening. Just really clean and happy. Mm, pretty quickly in, I get uh, a bit of an herbal quality going on and a little bit of a spicy thing going on because you get the black pepper and the coriander. Mm, some of that sage. Mm, I love it. A very natural feel to this one. Maybe a little bit of the orange blossom too. Mm, so, okay. Got to clear it out. Oh, <laughs> my fiance teases me because I don't stop smelling my fragrances. <laughs> So he's like, you're gonna go blind to it, that's why. So um, at the dry down, this is the dry down. Yeah, it really warms up. You get more of the vetiver. I really noticed the amber in this. Mm. And if you're looking for, you can get a touch of that civet in there. I think that's what gives this a bit of a warmth and a roundness to it and a bit of a uniqueness to it. You know, it's a little bit different than just a freshie, I, I think. This is pretty complex for a clean fragrance. Mm, I love it. it. You can really feel that journey as it dries down. It's gorgeous. So for projection, uh, I got about an hour to two hours of solid projection, actually. I used Fragrance Lock from, uh, from Ulta. It's a spray that you apply and it's supposed to help the longevity of the fragrance because this one is kind of known for not being the, the best performer. So I kind of jumped in doing that. So I will have to try this without that and see. Um, but I already kind of do find that just from spraying this without it, it, it sits close to the skin pretty quickly. So I think that lock does help it. But anyway, I'll do a separate video for that. Um, for the sillage, I didn't really get noticed. I think it, this is pretty soft. I think this is one that you wear more for yourself than others, which is great. You know, there are definitely fragrances like that. Um, 
I'd say I, I stopped noticing it. You know, I stopped smelling it on myself after around the four hour mark. Um, I went to a meeting with my fiance, went out to dinner and such. And usually he notices the fragrance on me and he didn't this time. So I was a little disappointed. Um, at one point he walked behind me and he was like, oh, okay, I, I kind of notice it now, but he was close to me. So I think this is one that people have to be closer to you, you know, to notice. Um, so that's the one downfall. It, it's not the best performer. Uh, I'd, I'd say where I did spray that lock on there, even though it was close to the skin, I could still smell it there. So like even on my way home around like eight o'clock or so, um, you know, I was like, eight hours later you know you can, you can get a little bit of it but no one's it was to the point where no one would notice um oh it is really good though i i i think it's worth it this can be pricey um you know i've seen this thing for like 250 you know that 450 mil you know I, I just looked it up and i saw one for 250 but you can see i saw another one for like 95 bucks so you can there's quite a range so I think if you take the time, look it up, you know, really find a good deal on it, I think it's totally worth it. For me personally, I'd probably never buy this as a, you know, full price, but uh, this really is gorgeous. It has such a natural quality to it, no sharp edges, you know, just very well blended. And uh, I mean, it just it has that Tom Ford quality for sure. His fragrances are excellent. And uh, the nice thing is this is very wearable, you know, perfect for spring and summer. I don't really think this would perform in anything colder than like 80 or 90 degrees. It's gotta be a hot, humid day for this. Um, but yeah, this, this stuff is awesome. Uh, it's a great way, I think, to get into the brand. You know, someone who's very new to the, to the Tom Ford world, this is what introduced me to Tom Ford. Um, but you know, a lot of the blue bottles are awesome. Uh, like the Neroli Portofino, Costa Azura, really awesome. And uh, a lot of his other fragrances are really opulent and complex. Some of them might be a little bit more challenging to wear, which is awesome, you know. But if you're just getting into this house, I think this is a great way to begin, to get started. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's my take on Mandarino Diomalfi. Have you ever tried this? Do you, uh, ha do you like it? You know, please comment below. Let me know what you think. And once again, thank you so much for joining me today. Decided to change it up and go outside on this beautiful day. Of course, the clouds are coming out now, right? But uh, it was just sunny out before. But I thought I'd change it up a little bit. But uh, thank you again for joining me. Uh, if you haven't, please like my video and share it. And uh, please subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Enjoy yourself.